Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new McAllister card to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Just gotta give him the uh, shadow chemistry style right away. I guess they're gonna get started with like the transferred cards uh, to other teams, which is obviously pretty cool. Uh, Argentinian link, nice little cheeky link to Martinez if you ended up doing that card. Some interesting stuff. Okay, so with McAllister, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills, four star weak foot. Okay, so by default, this is a card that you're probably gonna have to use in. A 4 3 2 1 as your attacking oriented center mid. Uh, because with the way that he's formatted in game with the five star skills, higher dribbling stats on a shadow chemistry style, he's uh, more well rounded, right? He's got the shooting stats, his pace is in a good area, he's a high medium to really push forward, all that kind of stuff. Traits he has playmaker, long shot taker. So again, probably going to be used over on that right hand side, if anything. Uh, passing on the card is going to be in a very good area. That with a four-star weak foot, good composure, should be good to work with. Uh, I'm very curious to see what his skills is going to be like because he is an average body type while being five foot nine with those dribbling stats. So as a midfielder, hopefully it, it feels pretty good for the most part. Um, defensive stats will be massively increased except for the interceptions department. Uh, and then for physical, he's going to be low in aggression, uh, but stamina, strength, and jumping going to be in a pretty decent area too. So yeah, definitely some... Uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, with this card, we're going to be using him in a basic 4-3-3 formation. The one that I reviewed for you guys where you just don't touch the instructions whatsoever. Um, that way we can kind of just test out the cards. Attacking and defensive capabilities. I might just try him out like this, to be honest. Just to get the attacks and defensive, defensive stuff going. I'm going to switch between him and Roberto Firmino probably. Just so I can test out some defensive stuff as well. So, yeah. Um... Okay, cool. Let's go try him out. Hopefully he is a beast. Good stuff. We pushed this goalkeeper a little bit, so it gave us that space. Okay, just destroyed me. Take it easy, bro. He's offside. He's uh, he's interesting so far, man. Like his attacking AI and stuff is actually pretty decent. Okay, actually does well under pressure. Oh, quick dribble afterwards. Nice. The shot cancel actually worked there, eh? The shot cancel actually worked there. It's going to be disappointed with that pass. Yeah, he does like constant adjustments. That's really good. That's the type of stuff that I look for with players, you know? Chip. Ooh, it ends in. Nice. Yeah, he's making some good movements, man. I like it so far. Yeah, see the adjustment? Good, man. He's offside now. Yeah, considering the average body type, I don't mind his dribbling that much. Because, like, he, he definitely has the average, but it doesn't feel like a huge, huge nuisance on the card. You feel it a little bit, though, like, in a situation like that against the defender, small emphasis, you know? Small emphasis. Dang, man, I couldn't get the green. I did a Berba, uh, a Magidi cancel there. That's what it registered. Oh, it shouldn't have passed out like that. Because of the half time. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's good, man. Like that's that's what I personally like the most. I need players that have like that authentic like cut this way, cut that way. Like I, you notice these types of mechanics right away with these types of players. Much power on it. Also on the weak foot, so there's gonna be an inconsistency to it. Oh, hello. Putting a time the uh, finesse on time there. That's what's nice about having the moving scoop turn. A little cheeky scoop turn in the position, top shot, worked out. A defensive play, bad pass by me. Can they exploit the space out wide? Foden. Here's Martial now. Oh, nice. That was a lovely touch there, McAllister. Now, who can he play it to? Oh. Listen, you guys saw that initial movement, though, right? So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. White time shot on that one. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Not the craziest L1 R1 pass. Oh, we got that build up play though. We'll tell you good stuff, boys. A little bit of the average on that one. I felt that one a bit. A great through ball. Skipping away. Firmino. Foden. Can he finish this? No. Should have gone like at an angle there. Foden. Can he put it in? Oh man, I got the defensive play there too, man. Nice try, nice try. United to find themselves in, but they took care of the situation defensively. Is it going to be? Oh, my goodness, man. Too close. Good it. Nothing. Roberto Firmino. Plenty of options. Ah oh, man. Not on a green though, not on a green. There we go. There we go. That's the space we're looking for. Oh, defensive play, nothing. Okay. A doobie kickoff. What an effort! Foden. Wilfried Zaha. Now, who can he play it to? Well, oh, that, that one actually had the loop animation. Really 
Okay, so two different times. No, like, crazy animation uh, choice there, obviously. Nice, good finish. Uh, there we go, there we go. Shoots with his right foot too, eh? Look at that. Oh, the moon was good, man. I just had to make a lower power amount of it there, but I don't put, put a little bit too much. Oh, good. That's, we're good. Full scoops. Oh, it's a direct anyways. Always coming off the dribbles a certain way, boys. Nice, McAllister. But I go. He's been uh, he's been interesting so far, honestly. It, it just feels like one of those types of cards where, again, they have improved them to the points to be like a usable meta card in the game, right? Like they they've been doing that a lot with the Premier League cards where they price them a certain way, but they do improve them to be way more usable. Like McAllister is formatted for that attacking center mid role, so that's like the main way that you would use him, right? You just notice movements like this, right? Then your buildup is like that. You make a pass, he makes a certain run. It's a fine United move in the making. Salah. Look at that. Oh, there's a little bit too much of a, a drag there. Oy. Okay, cool. That high medium is really noticeable in that midfield, though. Like, the, the runs that he'll make, really nice. That's a direct two, and he still scores it. Very nice. Oh, if it registered earlier, it would have been fine, but it didn't. Nice. That was a nice goal. Good stuff, good stuff. That's what we need. Oh, that was actually a good volley. Dude, I'm using him as the attacking oriented center mid. I thought that was Firmino, and this, it's this guy attacking for me, you know? That's what I'm saying, man. You notice those things right away with the attacking AI and all that kind of stuff. Like, you just you just see it right away, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, it's still a really well-weighted pass. Try to do, like, a touch and then a roulette there, but didn't come off that nice. See who it was again. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Good it. There you go. Good challenge. Little build up. Lead off. Yes. There it is. Oh, the stretch of dreams. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty solid as an attacking midfielder, though. I, I, he's uh, he's cool. It's cool for sure. See, like, he, he was making the cut upwards and then downwards. Like, that movement, I need that movement. Salah plays 
I don't like the linear stuff, you know? That's it. Gotta get that green, man. That works. That works. Wow, that animation. What is that? Is it mine or his? Oh my. McAllister did that apparently. What, it hit off his chest or something? Take the interception there. Nothing on the defense there. You definitely notice that, like, um, push back a little bit when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the, um, running animation and stuff. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you're the attacking oriented center mid, that type of stuff doesn't matter as much. Like, even if you're lined up in, like, a 4 1 2 and 2, right? This is his track back, right? So I'm not gonna touch anything here. Okay. So you could see his running animation, right? Because AI running animation coming back is faster than you actually controlling it, right? And you could tell that like he has that like kind of pushback in a way, right? But that's what I'm saying. Like it's like the guys at EA, they know the meta. It's like, yeah, people will use this car as the attacking range to set him in a four, three, two, one. Maybe a three back, but a three back you want players that are faster in that like right mid position. So it's definitely more of that narrow formation if you were to use him, right? Through ball. Good use of the ball but can they and there's that build up again, right? He's the guy that does the push forward kind of thing. There he goes. And we hit too much on that. Ah. Uh, nope, nothing. Oh, see? So average body type a little bit there. If you're, if you're up against, like, Van Dyke and stuff, those guys, uh, they do be throwing you off, you know? Like, that type of stuff when you're close, right? Ooh, should be good, yeah. Nicely done. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new McAllister card. So, guys... Uh, with this card, we provided him with the Shadow Chemistry Cell, obviously to boost the pace and the defending as much as possible while working with good stats everywhere else. Uh, guys, they improved this card to be uh, pretty good in the meta of the gameplay, right? So if I'm using that 4-3-2-1 that I showed you guys, or the 4-1-2-2 that I reviewed from the pro player, those two formations, they're just going to be very ideal for a card like this. What's actually interesting about this McAllister card is you guys know how I reviewed that 4-3-3 formation? And I had someone playing in the cam position. Like, it could be like a Bernardo Silva. It could be like a Depay there. Like, something like that, right? Usually, like, the high, high works out best. You can use a McAllister there. And he actually performs really well in that area. Because the first thing that you notice with this card is that he does have very good, proper attacking AI, right? Like, he understands when to utilize in the empty space. He understands when to do the little cuts and stuff. And authentic football is what I aim for the most. And McAllister allows you to do that, right? That base mechanic of his is going to be really good to work with in the midfield positions when you want to use them in a more attacking oriented way, right? On a shadow chemistry style, he's still going to defend for you from time to time. Obviously, with the high medium work rate, he'll just be more attacking oriented. But 
it's perfectly fine because that's the role that he's going to play anyway. So if I'm playing a 4-3-2-1 and I have like my physical guy playing down the middle, McAllister would be off to the right-hand side and he would actually do a pretty good job with my buildup, right? Because if I'm building up the play from the left-hand side, I know that with his high medium work rate, at some point he'll create that space in the middle for himself, right? And because EA provided him with the five-star skills to kind of compensate for the average body type feeling a certain way from time to time, it's really, really helpful. So this SBC for the price, it could have been priced a little bit lower, maybe just a little bit, but it's one of those ones that I don't mind as much, you know, like the Prem tax is not as bad for how he performs in game. He's actually like pretty decent as long as you play him in that role. Okay. It's like, it's like when people come to me and they're like, I don't like Bernardo Silva, but then they're using him as like a left forward, a right mid, a left mid. And I'm like, no, you got to use him as a cam. If you use him as a cam, there's do not put him anywhere else. He's supposed to be only there. It's kind of like McAllister, right? Center mid position, balance instruction, maybe a get forward. Even that's like get into the box for cross for like the attacking AI stuff. That's how you have to use them. Okay, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.